Hi, welcome back to my channel, Train Station 2. All right, so Summer Games Events 2024 is coming. All right, so there are four teams to be chosen. <laughs> so I'm not too sure uh, which one we should be choosing, but uh, probably uh, we look out for the trains later on in terms of the design before we decide uh, which is the team to choose for. Uh, the purpose of the choosing of a team because there's somewhat uh, rewards only based on team effort basis so that's the reason why you're gonna choose a team right so uh, of course uh, this is the start of the event uh, introduction to uh, just make sure you're level 12 in order to participate uh, if you have not yet reached level 12 make sure you reach it before the 9th of uh, july all right so um it's apparently quite a long event uh, 20 odd days, uh, good for six competitions. So as usual, uh, after that, uh, you will have probably 48 hours post events to claim all your rewards. Uh, in terms of the remaining time, there's the icon you look up for. So it's uh, Olympics, <laughs> or actually called Summer Games. All right, so the map wise, uh, do have interesting uh, map here. The stadiums, multiple of them. Uh, very uh, iconic uh, in terms of the flags you can see uh, on the extreme right side. Um, then there are, I think, other stadiums uh, for football, uh, any other uh, events, summer games uh, kind of stadiums that is suited. So uh, that's the purpose of having so many different uh, stadiums. But I think easily identified would be the football, uh, which is the bottom right. All right, so raw materials wise, there'll be nylon, uh, two others. So in total, there are only three raw materials, but uh, you could accompany that uh, with the other materials uh, that you have generated uh, from your factory. So something like nails, saw blades, uh, wood you can collect. Um, those are the things that you're going to take note. So nylon, uh, leather and rubber. So these are the three event raw materials and you're going to mix it up to uh, and uh, get it done with the factory uh, materials to be generated example the fabric um, from nylon and then of course uh, like i said earlier uh, we're going to mix up with the non-event items like wood um, they're going to make a flag so you're going to make sure you're going to have that nylon fabric uh, manufactured using the nylon first mold i think you're going to make many of them in order to make the flags you're going to combine with wood and then rubber and synthetic leather both are raw materials. So sports shoes is a bit of an issue because you just got to collect from raw materials. Tennis rackets, you need nails. Um, stadium seat, uh, you need saw blades. So these are the things you're going to look up for, both from the same factory. So make sure you have tons of them ready, especially saw blade, it takes a long while. Uh, copper, likewise, it takes half an hour. So make sure you have tons of the copper. So just got to bear in mind, nails, saw blade and copper so these are the three things that you should be manufacturing right now uh, in order to prepare for the upcoming uh, long event so just going to make sure you have tons of it um, store up uh, the table and chairs as well because you can convert back uh, the saw blade and nails once you cancel that order so event currency wise um, you know coins to go for the 1000 uh, event coin train, uh, 4,000 event co event keys, uh, legendary. So those are the two legendaries we're going up for. Save up whatever you could, all right? Then of course, if you choose a team, uh, really depends on the design, right? So we'll come to that later on in terms um, what's being imprinted on the train design itself. Uh, reward system, as I mentioned earlier, the purpose of having choose a team because there is a progression your team belongs to. Uh, together with other players in your team which you can't choose, um, you got to collect EPs and of course the winning team will have extra rewards during every single round. So there'll be six rounds, six extra rewards. It depends on luck, really. Um, you don't know who will be joining your team, so you really don't know. Uh, would be much better and forget about uh, what pixel mentioned about a slight bonus to the ep the next round to make it more competitive it doesn't work um pixel refused to accept it basically the bonus doesn't work at all so if you are in a bad team uh which you have chosen unfortunately you'll be losing all the way so there's no way <laughs> so pixel is stupid in, in this context they fails to improve all right so forget about this bonus um, then uh, you can see if you're wondering what's the bonus is a plus sign besides the uh, EP so that doesn't really work so um, in terms of the 
uh, event itself, then you also have the individual top, maybe top 1%, top 5% with extra rewards there. Um, no, nothing has changed. Um, <laughs> I've shown you a video three years ago. It's still messy. Uh, the L and M is um, in the wrong position. Uh, then, of course, um, the runner, we all know, is both not joked. So all this doesn't change at all. So it's just a copy and paste design. Nothing has changed. No effort put in by pixel programmers. They are just plain lazy um, using exactly the same um, pictures and names without any innovation at all and putting it in place as called another event. So uh, it's a continuation. <laughs> if you look at that, exactly the same, right? So not much of a difference there. Um, only thing that it mentioned is a call they call a special guest, but that just rings a bell in terms of revenue generation for Pixel. When it talks about special guests, they are just having the dollar sign in their eyes, right? So you got to pay, I believe, what they for play for Planet Initiative. Um, definitely you are paying, right? So. Nothing uh, big deal about this uh, for free to play. Ignore this totally. So that's what they say. They partnered uh, full amount from your payment uh, used to fight uh, climate change. All right. So basically asking you to pay. If that's uh, so wonderful about Pixar, why don't they donate like 20% of their profit? All right. Why should we be paying? <laughs> so this is nothing uh, new. It's most of the time when they do a partnership, they want players to pay. And that's all. All right. So in terms of the event itself, always try to focus, uh, but that said, easier than done. Um, in the past, we were focused in the first three competitions because they are easiest. Uh, but from the last competitions, uh, long events, we realize it's totally different ball game after all. Um, Pixel I make it so tough. Uh, people are complaining, but it's not really bothering them because they are after revenue generation rather than player enjoyment. So this is something you've got to bear in mind. you got to really play in this manner, um, I'll say if you have your batch trains, uh, make sure you claim them. I believe you'll be having two rare or three rare plus two common. Um, upgrade them if possible and then you collect all the materials required. And then of course, if there's something like the long events, we had the last one where they have the potatoes. Make sure you convert the potatoes to get the legendary train first, then you use it for the epic later on. So there'll be conversion required. So um, in terms of the trains, as usual, there will be four types, the common, the rare, the epic, and the legendary. I'm going to show you right now. So they have the Scots uh, Gutsman common. It looks very familiar. <laughs> so uh, I don't think this is new. All right, so uh, let's take a look at the rare train. Um, yeah, very similar. Um, so <laughs> I think it's identical <laughs> to the previous events. So not, not much things to shout about. Um, then we have uh, the same uh, Epic Train. And uh, finally, let's check out the legendaries. There'll be two. One is the thousand uh, event keys, uh, sorry, event coins. And another one will be 4,000 event keys. So let's see which design is imprint on those. Uh, I don't see any really nice design there. Uh, <laughs> should we be choosing swimming then? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's take a look at the batch trains. Um, these are the trains that are becoming uh, useful because you need them to collect the raw materials for the event. Otherwise, it can't work. Hopefully, you have saved enough coins and keys. You'll be using tons of them, uh, especially the upgrades. And uh, there'll be common and rare. And then, of course, there'll be another one in the event pass, which is a free uh, pass I'm talking about, not the one that are paying for customers. Um, nope, I'm not into that. So let's check out. Um, I said yes. So there'll be three uh, rare trains, uh, batch trains, and then two common batch trains. All right. So in total, there are five. And then um, that's what you'll be focusing on. So um, if you're new to the event, batch trains are required in order to collect raw materials from the events and uh, during the uh, event itself um, they all have a plus 10 power boost uh, it will just disappear automatically after the event all all right so for paying customer as usual you get additional dispatcher and a factory so you can fight 
better, faster than the non-paying customers like us. Um, there's even an uh, outsourcing factory which will pay even more to grab materials straight away while the rest of us will wait 15 minutes. Alright, so that's all for this event. Uh, really good luck and have a good rest before the long event fatigue. Thank you so much for watching. Do like and subscribe. Goodbye.